Welcome back to another awesome lecture. So before I actually start working on um, further on this project or introduction, we need to I need to clarify some things for you. Now, first things first. Um, I have opened up here Home Blade and I've opened um, this view here. So this is dashboard user and you're logged in as as the name of the user right so we don't have this name uh, actually we do have this name we know it's let's see it here we know it's Rick here but we, we need to put it the name here I would like to get the name of authenticated users but before that how we get here right now I didn't show you that what well, that we can log in and log out right now let's log in as Rick hotmail.com password 129 and here we are slash home but how did we get here now let's check resources first uh, sorry let's check routes and in routes we do have this home slash home home controller index right and the name of the route which I haven't shown you we can put a name now if I go back here in if I do PHP artisan route list now home we have the name home it's actually in the home controller index and it's a web and authenticated we're gonna talk about what means web authenticated guests future about the middlewares but now you need to know that we have the home controller Right. I'm just gonna save this one although there is nothing to save but I want to stay here now if I go back to app so if I go to HTTP controllers and if I go to home controller now I see that here we do have this index method that we are pointing out and that index method returning the view home and it's returning like this because in views it's not in the folder it's like welcome the blade right nothing special but here you know you need to note something we have the public function double underscore construct this is a construct everyone that has done object oriented programming or any programming they have dealt with uh, constructors destructors and similar like that so setters and getters and in the constructor is the first that first thing that is called when we instantiate the class controller so this is first things called and it's checking this middleware auth create so means that allow only the user the users that are authenticated to pass this middleware and load this view otherwise it will not be able so how how I know this? It's simple like this. Now if I log out and if I try go to home slash home, it will go shoot me back, redirect me to the login page, right? Because this checked and I'm not authenticated, it means I'm not logged in, and that's why I'm there. Oops, I think I messed something, right? Now very good so I'm in this controller now when we are doing if we go to the app HTTP and controllers we do have this auth folder and let's click on the register controller now register controller we have ready rec2 we have public construct because here we can we can anyone can access this one as a guest right and you don't need to worry about this now but every this will be very easy for you in a couple of lectures you will understand this now what we're gonna do here I'm just gonna show you this redirect to before was like this slash home right now every version they change something and they change route service provider home so if I control hit the control or command and if I click this one here it, I will go to the public constant home and that constant holds this string here 
So I can change this one. I can change it, for example, if I want my if I want every registered user to go to the user page or user or profile page, let's say profile page. So we can change this to profile. But the thing is that profile, there is no view profile actually, right? There is no view profile in our views. Just wait. There is no, also there is no route. I've opened too many things. There is no uh, slash profile. But what we can do now, we can just test it out to see if it's my logic is working. So now I'm log out, and if I go to login, what I want to see is that I will need to go to slash user page, although that's view doesn't exist but I want to see if that my logic with reg, uh, route service provider that I changed from home now after that I will be able to go to my profile page right maybe in future you will want to do this that's why I'm showing you now if I click login here here it is it's going in the profile page but that's not found because it's not we, first we don't have in the route we don't have nothing now that's working that's how redirection works redirect to bam let's go there now I'm just gonna change back this to home for now and if I go hit to home again it will work because I'm registered users now I just want to show you something interesting before dealing with this so I have co home controller now I just want to grab the authenticated user by calling auth class and by calling the user. Now, I'm just gonna leave it like this in order to see what will happen. And what I can do here, I will say compact, or you can use with compact, and I wanna want to pass in this user, this user here. Now, if I refresh, I should have an error. Why? Because in class, app HTTP controller auth not found. And that class is because I haven't imported here. Now, for the importation, I use this one, namespace resolver. So you need to enable this one. And what basically does this one, it finds, you don't have to type it, it finds your importing the classes. Now, what I can do here, wait, what I can do here, I'm just going to close, I'm going to close this one, and I'm inside home controller, but on top, you can see there are only two, right? And if I click on right click on import class, that will import illuminate support facade auth. So I can use it actually now. Now let's refresh. And everything is working, but I don't have anything here. So how I can check if it's working, I can check even here. Before pa before going to the view, I can do die and dump user, and I will see what's, what's in that user. Now, I have this one in user. I have name, password, and if I go to the attributes, actually I can see the ID, the name one Rick, which corresponds to this one, right? I can see all of it that connects it with the user. If you don't believe me, let's um, let's uncomment this part here, or just I'm just gonna comment this part here. And now I'm just gonna refresh. Okay, yeah, undefined variable. So I'm just gonna uncomment this one because we're passing the variable there. That's why we had an error. Now, if I go log out, and if I log, if I log in with Mick, hotmail.com, any password you want, you can put it there. Now I'm logged in as Mick. The thing is that I want to just check Dan Dumb to see if that the Mick is there. Right now, I know that I have the details from from every authenticate user actually here. So what I can do, I'm passing this user variable, uh, user array here. It's actually an array, it's a collection. And uh, 
I can use it here now. So if I just, how we can access their name. Now, it's very simple. We can, we, we can use double curly break, brackets, braces, and we can say user name. And that user will shoot me this one. Undefined variable user, I only need to pass it like here. Now, that was my mistake. So compact user, I don't need to specify the variable name. And now I have the user here and I can access their name, right? I'm sorry about the glitch before. So you're logged in as Mick. So I have dashboard user. So it's good, it's good that I'm seeing this. So I can easily look at my other screen right now and find find where I'm mistaken, but it's good. This is good for you guys because if I make a mistake un uh, unintentionally and not purposely, you will see and you, you can do the same thing because you can always mix user with this one. So I also use with sometimes and that's why I'm, I'm used to passing the variable. Now, I do have this user and I can get the name if I log in, log out and log in as a Rick. Now I should get now I should get Rick. Now this is working and it's pretty much pretty much all very fast. No I mean no lags. If I log out, we will not be able to access that part. And pretty much now you know how you can get the authenticated user and pass onto the view, right? In this view, and also it's a good idea you need to install this or if you're using any other text editor, just find something that will auto load your um will you know will give you help with you don't need to type the actual path like use illuminate slash so it will import import the namespace directly so that's very good and awesome and handy now that's pretty much it and now also know you have to, how you can name this one name the route so if I look at the route list there is the name this employment doesn't have the name but we can give it a name if we want for example name employment like this and now if I do again, here it is. I can now, I will show you in the future how you can reuse these names in order to link to, yeah, to link them uh, like uh, using the URL. So thank you very much for show, for watching this lecture. I hope I wasn't, wasn't too boring. I uh, told you a couple of things. And I also haven't discussed about this auth here, how it's working, so login and register and why we are redirecting to home because of this guy here so if you go to route service provider and home constant there contains this uh, slash home so you can change it to any path you want for example you want a profile to go after login you want to go to the login uh, to the profile slash profile you want to go to the user page slash user simple so in future we will create middleware and um, yeah and it will be nice to see where the users are going and how we can redirect them to a specific uh, part so thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture